a Ford 6 liter EGR cooler that we've all heard and read about. This one has coolant getting into the EGR system. It's uh, actually after it's set for a few days waiting on extended warranty company to come uh, to verify on this. It, uh, it actually hydro locked the motor. We had to push it in because of the coolant that's been getting past it. So the insurance is going to send an adjuster out to look at it. And so we're hooked into the one side of it. And we're going to go and start putting air into the system. And there you go. We're putting air in. And we are on which side of the system? The coolant system? Coolant side. We're on the coolant side that should pass coolant through to cool the EGR, but not allow air or coolant onto this side of it, onto the EGR side. That's the bubbles that you're seeing there. When we air this up on a new system or one that's working properly, there should be no bubbles coming out of there. And the other side, and the other side that is sealed, and the other side that is sealed is right, right there at that C clamp. That's got that sealed off. off. And then if I fill this up with water, trying to fill this up again, we well, can see the bubbles coming out. Got very little pressure in it. Give some more air. Go and give some more air. Yeah, it's very, very little pressure. Less than 10 psi. Let's. That, that's at 15 psi. You can see the bubbles coming out on that side of it. Or if you so, tilt, it, tilt this down, it'll come out over there. Now there's bubbles. <laughs> so, simply put, this EGR cooler on this Ford 6 liter is blown and must be replaced. And clean up the system. There's some ways of testing this still on the vehicle, but it doesn't give you a good picture of actually seeing it leak. And the end result is it has to be replaced anyhow to make everything work properly. And that's it. Thanks for watching.